So uh, you may think the Falcon is fast and sexy, right? But uh, if it speeds around for a little too long, then uh, you may be able to catch it with a good timing and a lot of firepower. So uh, Falcon, for those who are familiar with it, uh, it's a promising round two con NIST candidate uh, for lattice-based signatures. Uh, so it's a hash and sign scheme, which means that uh, you, you sign by sampling some uh, uh, lattice, uh, lattice discrete Gaussian centered uh, at a point determined by the, the message. And uh, basically, so uh, uh, to uh, express it as a, a formula, it's a GPV, so the original lattice-based uh, uh, hash and sign signatures, together with some n true key, and some uh, fancy technique based to, to speed it up and make, it, uh, make the uh, sampling quasi-linear. So it's a successor of some older scheme called DLP, which is basically Falcon minus this uh, fancy stuff. And um, it turns out that uh, on, in both schemes, the Falcon and DLP, the lattice uh, Gaussian sampling is carried out um, with something called a Klein sampler, and so it means that you reduce uh, lattice Gaussian sampling to some uh, one-dimensional samplings, and uh, the, the uh, standard deviation of those uh, one-dimensional Gaussian is determined, determined by uh, the Gram-Schmidt norms of the secret key. So um, there's a timing leakage, which is that the dimension one sampler uh, leaks those uh, GS norms, through timing information, so the number of uh, repetition that you carried out uh, for your uh, uh, one-dimensional um, discrete Gaussians. So there's an attack here. So you start from the Gram-Schmidt norms, and uh, there's uh, some um, interesting math here to get back to some uh, polynomial, which is the which we call the, the uh, Gram-Schmidt polynomial, and uh, where f and g here are the uh, elements of the secret key. And so after that, it's easy enough to get to the secret key. So the second step is uh, kind of easy. It's polytime, and it's uh, basically the Gentry Sidlow algorithm. And uh, the first step, uh, it's kind of uh, the main contribution. Uh, it's uh, polytime for DLP and quasi polytime for Falcon. And uh, you can kind of, so it works, uh, these are the timings for. Uh, exact values for the GS norms, but if you have approximate values, then you can combine it with some tree search uh, to uh, make it work even with appro approximate values. So uh, we run that uh, attack uh, last week. So we generate something like 2 to the 38.5 DLP signatures, and from that uh, you easily extract approximations of the GS norms up to an error of uh, 2 to the minus 7 or something like this. And so step 1 gives you this uh, GS polynomial. You can't, probably can't see, but anyway. And uh, step 2 gives you the secret key. So, so the, uh, uh, um, like uh, computationally, it's uh, quite easy. So step 1 took like 3 minutes. Step 2, it took a bit longer, but it's generally low, so it's uh, well known. And so, of course, you need uh, quite a bit of signatures, but uh, it's feasible. So the conclusion is that uh, so we have a leakage of uh, the leakage of the Gram-Schmidt norm is uh, quite uh, dangerous. Uh, you get uh, so against Falcon, it's quasi polynomial something, so it's kind of uh, theoretical. But for the, at least for DLP, it's uh, very concrete. And uh, actually, so there's an updated version updated implementation of Falcon that uh, kind of patches this uh, uh, leakage, uh, but uh, it's really important to apply the countermeasure for security. Thank you very much. <laughs>